Hi folks, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. I've been down for, a, well, since Friday, I threw my back out moving things around, assorting things after my move into my son's house. Yeah, we're, we're all in pretty bad shape, but yeah, there was a magnitude 8.0 earthquake initially reported by USGS uh, there in the Caribbean. They uh, downgraded it to a magnitude 7.6. This was along the Enriquio, I know I'm pronouncing that long, wrong, Plantain Garden Fault Zone. And this fault zone is actually uh, the cause of some really large major earthquakes in the past. You can see some here. Back in uh, 1907, a magnitude 6.2 that caused a tsunami. Uh, 2010, a 7.0, also a tsunami. Um, 1770, a 7.0 that caused a tsunami. Uh, 1946, a 8.1 that caused a tsunami. Uh, 1918, a 7.1 that caused a tsunami. Um, 1876, a magnitude 7.5 that caused the tsunami. There was no tsunami uh, because of this earthquake, and there's been quite a few aftershocks um, a four point two four point eights a four point five a four point two and a four point three here on the national boy center you can see there's no tsunamis so nothing to worry about that thank god for that the enriquio plantain garden fault zone it actually shares approximately half of the relative motion between north american plate and the caribbean tectonic plates it runs along the northern side of Hispanola. Um, both faults here, I got them drawn out, merge in the Cayman Trench to the west. Additionally, a component of compression is present as the North American plate pushes towards the southwest. We're going to see more and more of these large earthquakes around the world as the Earth's magnetic field weakens for the coming polar our magnetic reversal, whatever you want to call it. I've been talking about this. The 7.5 earthquake that occurred in 1770 and the uh, 1907 Kingston earthquake damaged every building in Kingston, Jamaica. Let me bring this out. Some of these earthquakes were so great. Um, there was liquefaction. Um, people were buried on the beaches up to their necks in the sand yeah there was great loss of life so this is just another indication that the plates are moving the last time there was a magnetic pole reversal uh, yeah the continents actually moved yeah we got some major earth changes coming I hope everyone is prepared have a hard hat the last time the earth magnetic field uh, flipped or reversed whichever like I said you want to call it it didn't just happen overnight let me bring this out. The different areas of the Earth, actually, the uh, magnetic field, like divots on a golf ball, settled in different places, bouncing around. And scientists are not really in agreement on how long that took. It took anywhere between 2,000 to 10,000 years for the magnetic field to finally decide to settle where it is not, at now. But during that time yeah it bounced around different spots on the earth um yeah and during that time there was great earthquakes volcanic eruptions yeah um and it affected the weather too you wonder why we're having uh changes in our, our jet stream well that's got to do with the magnetic field also during that time you better hope we don't have a coronal mass ejection from the sun because our shields would be down <laughs> To protect us from the solar radiation yeah the earth very well could have um, huge fires and yeah yeah the earth could be cooked on the earth facing side if there is a coronal mass ejection people don't think about things like that so anyways thank you for putting up with me not being online like i said i threw my back out been under tremendous pain i have a hopefully can get into a chiropractor <laughs> This happened Friday, and yeah, everything was closed on Friday. 
Hopefully I can get into a chiropractor Monday afternoon. You can probably hear my son's girlfriend, Teresa. Yeah, she's got some kind of bug flu. And that's been going around too, evidently. So thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.